Hi YouTube, it's Jen. I am making my update video today. Um, had my appointment with a cardiologist this morning. As you guys know, I am in the pre-op phase. Just got approved for surgery and then all I'm waiting for was the clearance from the cardiologist and they're going to give me my official surgery date, hopefully sometime this week. So I went into the cardiologist to get clearance. It really is just routine. My surgeon wants you to get um, psychiatric, pulmonary, and cardiologist clearance in order to have surgery. So I made that appointment today, went in to see him, and everything was fine. They did an EKG of my heart. All was normal. And then at the very, you know, he asked me how far along in this process was and how many more appointments I had to go. And I told him none, that he was my last stop. And I was really hoping to have this surgery in early November. So it was important that I got the clearance from him because it was the last piece of this puzzle for me. And so at the end, he wraps it up by saying, okay, well, I'm going to, you know, everything looks fine. Um, you don't have any problems. Everything's clear with your EKG, but I'd like to schedule you for a stress test. Ugh. So I turned to him and I'm like, well, you know what? I had a stress test less than a year ago. So uh, they should have faxed those, you know, those results to you. Uh, my surgeon should have because I initially when I went into my surgeon, I provided them with that information just to have in my file. So he suggested that I get that from my surgeon and, you know, provide that to them. And um, once they take a look at that, then they can go ahead and, you know, if the results are fine, that they can go ahead and clear me for surgery. So I met with his assistant after I was done with my appointment with her, and I told her that the surgeon's office has the stress test results, and I'd really like uh, to be able to get those to them so I won't have to do another stress test. Who wants to do another stress test? Not me. Well, it just so happens that my surgeon's office is literally two, no, three floors down from the cardiologist, they're all within the same hospital complex. So she's like, why don't you just, they're open right now, why don't you just run down there and get your results? So I did. I ran down there, they were awesome. They pulled out you know, all the forms from my file, they copied them for me and then I ran back upstairs and I gave them to the nurse. So she took them, she said, she, you know, hold on one second, I'll show them to the doctor right now and we'll see what he says. So she shows them to the doctor and about a couple minutes later, she comes back out and she says, okay, you know, everything looks good with that. Now he wants you to have an ultrasound of your heart. And at first, like, I was kind of like, okay, an ultrasound of my heart. And we start trying to schedule this appointment and I'm looking at one more appointment off of work, which I've taken so much time off work for this already. And then none of the dates and times are working. So then I'm, I'm looking at pushing this appointment out for two more weeks. And then that's going to push, you know, my approval and my clearance for surgery out by a couple weeks because they will not schedule me until they get this clearance. And I start to get kind of upset. Uh, and I really got, a, you know, I, I turned to her and I'm like, is there, is there a specific reason why, you know, first all he wanted was a stress test for me and I got that information to him and now all of a sudden he's coming back and saying he wants an ultrasound of my heart. Um, was there something that he found in my stress test that concerned him or, you know, I'm just trying to figure out where this is coming from all of a sudden. So she's like, well, do you want to, do you want to speak with the doctor? Yeah, I want to speak with the doctor. So she puts me in a waiting room. And I wait for a couple minutes and the doctor comes in and he's got my stress test results with him. And he's like, yeah, everything looks fine here. You know, I just think that, uh, you know, just to be on the safe side, we should get an ultrasound of your heart. And I'm like, you know, I actually had one of those two with my stress test along with an EKG, along with a heart. I don't know, they put me a heart imaging machine. Like they did all of this just less than a year ago on me and I was totally fine. So I was like, I really, you know, I just had this less than a year ago. Also, if you want me to, like, I can try to get you that documentation too, but I just, like, I don't feel that this is necessary. And he's like, no, you know what? You're right. You're fine. Your stress test results came back okay. And I'm, I'm completely fine clearing you for surgery, you know, just with the information that I have. You know, I'll, I'll make sure it gets through and get, get it processed. And then I, I left. You know, he told his nurse, hey, you know, make sure that you go ahead and get her clearance sent for her, you know, down to the surgeon's office, you know, right away. So the nurse said, okay, he walked away. I left the building and I'm like, what the hell was that? 
it just seemed a little shady to me how it all went down. Um, I know there's a lot of insurance fraud and doctors schedule you for a whole bunch of unnecessary tests and just to jack your insurance prices and to get some of that money. And I really, it was just, it was kind of a weird situation. And I just didn't like the fact that he hadn't asked for that initially. And then all of a sudden when I came back with proof that I had had a stress test already and he wasn't going to have to do that on me. He was just trying to come up with something else. I don't know. It was really weird. But the good news is, is that it's all done. All my pre-op stuff is done. Thank goodness. And this week, hopefully I'm going to get the call about my surgery date, which is hopefully either November 1st or November 8th. We're going to find out for sure in a couple days. So I'll let you guys know. So that is exciting news. I'm ecstatic. I'm actually going to cut this video short because the Bears game is about to come on TV, and I think I am the number one Bears fan. Number one. They won the Super Bowl on my birthday. How can you beat that? I mean, I was like nine years old, but how badass is that? Basically, my birthday party was like a giant Super Bowl party that my parents threw, but I had no idea when I was a kid. So, yeah, you guys, just wanted to update you on my status. Um... Really, I can't wait to get to posting those post-op videos. It's really what I'm most excited. Oh, I forgot. One good thing today is I went into the cardiologist and they weighed me and I had lost two pounds. Two pounds. Yay. That's probably water weight. I'm not really sure. But still, it was nice to get on the scale and not say that I've gained anything. I've actually lost a couple pounds leading up to surgery. So that makes me very happy, especially since I'm not going to have to go through like the six month diet or anything like that. So yay. <sighs> Sorry, my dog's chewing on something. She's going to swallow it. <sighs> okay. So you guys have a wonderful night. Hope everything is going well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.